To join two pieces of stocking stitch end to end using mattress stitch, start by laying your knitting horizontally in front of you with the edges together. You can use an end from your cast on edge or your cast off edge if you want to, or you can use a separate piece of yarn. I'm going to use a contrasting colour so you can see very clearly what I'm doing. Thread this onto a tapestry needle. So the first thing you're going to do is just uncurl the edge of your stocking stitch and find the first stitch. So each stitch is represented by a little V, so you can see this is the first leg and this is the second leg and we're just going to come up in between those two legs of the stitch. Leave a tail at the end so you've got enough to weave in when you're finished. We're going to find the corresponding gap on the other side and we're going to go down and through both the legs of that stitch. Back to this piece of knitting and we're going to go down in the same place that we came up. Catch two legs of the stitches. So that was the second leg of the first stitch and the first leg of the second one. And then we're going to go back up here and catch that stitch there. And then we go down in the same space that we came up before, catch two legs, the second leg of that stitch and the first leg of the next stitch along. And then back up to catch a full stitch right there. Okay, and you can start to see how they are joining together. We just pull that end a little bit tighter. You can see how this stitch will run together and the next stitch will run together. side, pull it down to the middle of this stitch and along to the next one. Pull it down so you can see how it closely comes in there and just looks like it's a continual and continuous line. Work all the way to the end, secure with a few small stitches and weave in your ends. <laughs> 